how fast technology improving is just shocking sometimes. Only in previous videos I was amazed by how much Hunai 3D 2.5 version have a way better type of creating models from the version 2.0. And right here, this is one where we was creating absolutely for free model. Look beautiful. But you know what? <laughs> a few days later, the another software come up with a 3D generate models that is even ahead of this way, way better. So let me show you. Right here inside the blender, you can see this is model was created. I'm a little bit close up also, but who knows 2D just from one image and it's look very great till we'll scroll to the right and look on this resolution. Look on this model, how it's created. I understand we have it a little bit on the surface. We'll, we'll touch this and I'll show you what is also different, but general look on resolution and quality details on this and that is just the beginning the new model is also fixes some faces so let me show you right here you can see it is generated with the uh, hunai 3d and it's done not bad but look on the face the face is definitely not yet there yes does not look very well very good and here just compare to this of course ignore hand this is was my kind of false with image but general what i want to show look on the image on a face and this is was our reference image so it is definitely much closer to the image we see in a picture versus what is was generated because it definitely wasn't enough resolution here well now what i'm speaking about I'm speaking about the new from Spark 3D and I will give it links down for you to go check out. They have very beautiful papers. They have the best examples you can check, but best of all, they also have it at this free trial. So you can go, not even trial, the free generator. So you can go there, upload it, your input image and generate, like in this case, I created Bumblebee and you can create your 3D models and after save it. So far you can save it just in one format, GLB, and it does not yet created any texture. So whatever you see right here, this is kind of minus, it's just higher resolution mesh model. The big of course plus still with a Hunai 3D that is not a just a model, it's also create PBR textures and you can see even here them inside the blender that is on the left from Hunai 3D with its generated textures applied and this is with higher resolution without any textures on the right from the new Spark 3D. So it is improving. Uh, definitely what they did, they improve amount how many polygons can create it, how accuracy as well model through the way correcting the hands, faces, making them look more to the image. It, it's very interesting on training the data set, what is working with. And it definitely work very good with uh, uh, like anime, robots, fantasy. So it's kind of performed very well in this case. But let me show you some examples. Okay, and we're going just to compare with Kunai 3D because how say I was shocking on a quality it can produce and it's the best to compare with a leader before and see what is a new one can do it. So right here it's a bumblebee created from one image on Hunai 3D 2.5. And if you look right here, you can see it's actually did a very good job. Of course, the texturing is nice, but if we look on a face, you can see the problem is all messed up with the face. And hence it does not look bad, but still in some cases, just a little bit, not enough resolution, I think, but generally it's creating very nice um, model. And just to show you reference image, this is a reference image I was working with. So this is our reference and there is what creating from this reference. So let's go compare with a 
the model that was creating by Spark. So right here, let's look on the face. Look on this. That is definitely way better face. Yes. Okay, right here. Oh, uh, let me readjust. There you go. And you can see, look, face is look way better than other ones. Same like resolution on the hands. We can see the joints way better right here as well. It just overall look nice. Of course, we can turn on the frame, wireframes, and you can see the price of obviously for this to pay with a very huge it's triangles. So our triangles polygons. Um, ignore some of the brokenness because clipping happening, but there are no broken polygons in here. I would like to actually experiment more and run this the true red apology to reduce amount of polygons. I'm sure we can probably clean up. And like I said before, it's a plenty of the tools was done already before. You have it very nice. After red apology inside the blender, you can run through and everything. Um, but it is very, very impressive what it can do. So right here, example, another ones. You can see I was using the take image of the some kind of evil transformer I think I was creating and here is created very beautifully if you look on the back look at this amount of details how it's created so it is this is again it's not visible it's created this same like a podium try to recreate text it did not create text and by the way when you create it will create two different versions and I notice they are different you will notice as well they sometimes have a different in details like on a hand you can see different like right here on a blade you can see the difference so it is have their own kind of uh, creative approach i will say to sometimes to create and add details but generally it's not bad and it's nice that create three of them and just example go back to this viewer you can see it is it's not bad but face is totally messed up it's just not enough resolution was i think the new one increased resolution and also um to the special modifier there and by the way all what i'm saying right here you can go inside again those links and they explain here and show example how it's work they're of course using the spark on VR for this which is specially trained and you can preview how the mesh um, overview work the next step i guarantee you probably will be integration with uh, texture creation because it's kind of secondary program which analyze and add color layer but we'll see that um as well this the sparks this can be only you can try online only right now which is exactly the same what you're doing with a hunai right there you can do online generating models as well so the same way to do it um, I did render quite a bit of them and I did not see any um, limitations. However, it is running on a hugging face. And if servers get hammered, servers get hammered there. So just let you know, if more people go access, you may have it a little bit slow down. But it's actually performed quite a bit fast for me. Oh, look on the podium. You can see as well. See how the difference between these two. And same like a top, some of the switches, they look a little bit different design so it does have a little bit access uh, to creativity yeah when you start campaign but it is amazing amazing amount of details and I would say it's so funny because it's a literally a couple three days later when I says wow you know uh, as a 3d modeler who worked for years and years and this I was like wow that is impressive that is even more wow and it's interesting things because both of those models they do have it um the same problem sometimes how it's generated well let me show you right here let me find where's my right there yeah let me drag and show right here um no nope, this is dwarf it's actually general. yeah that will work so the model was like this standing reference model and you can see the hammer go around so AI literally wasn't that smart and it's creating just two handles for the hammer. So it's understanding hammer must be have a long handle reference, but it did not train, did not remove that one. So this one is probably you need to remove in a post, but it's creating this way. And interesting thing about this, that is not just um, this one creating, 
if we're going let's look in uh, the model from now you can see right here exactly the same problem we have it nicely done there but if we're going on this side you can see same two handles so because it's just a reference we'll have it when you work with one image and i think images like this reference and here's the reference of the image you can see actually right there i can see something holding it so it, it's possibly yeah i just misinterpreted like holding another handle in there but this is what was a reference image for those two 3di 3di generators and right here just to last compare this is the render with a new just notice amount of details on the back we have it again it does not generate textures but we have ridges right here everything and if we look back to is right here it's still generated but somewhat similar but i think the detail detailizations very good but this is miniature one kind of creating way sharper more details nicely nicely done nice amount of fingers so we can look on all of this okay well i hope you find this kind of update and showing the very short for you useful again links for this will be down below so you i will give you provide links for as well the hunai so you can go and try by yourself here as well you can go and create just be sure upload it one image and generate it um just give you a heads up that it does not save on your account or anything at least i did not find so be sure after you render save these uh, files if you want to use it them save on your computer because there won't be any history that you can go that is will make a little bit different from here oh yeah one more thing so i want to show you as well um as we was on Hunai here they also have um smart 3d rat topology and i tried to actually use this but it's kind of funny because uh, the model that even their own create own model uh, does not work because it says too many polygons so i don't know what is how it's work with what but general these ones on their own side did not work uh, with topology so you can try to do in a blender just you search for it topology after or i will put link for you down below as well for this so you can download if you use the blender you can use this one um done other applications so you can use it it is 3d code but that one is paid application but they have very nice set topology if you want to reduce it well let me know what you think please uh, remember to subscribe give it a like uh put in your comments what's going on and as well i have a lot of a lot of images reference images actually i created as well as models and you can see somebody beautiful models um that was created to this reference and they will be all for free available on my patreon website and maybe on uh, google drive i will see if i upload there but they definitely will be on my patreon side so you're more welcome to go download there and for the members i will also have it some models download there as well so you can download them play with them experiment do whatever you want it just interesting to find what you think about this and mostly interesting on the polygons what do you think about polygons how messy and i know it's messy but i want to wonder what are your perception on this well thank you for watching we'll see you next time bye